Kevin Ferguson Jr., the eldest son of high-profile fighter Kimbo Slice, is an MMA fighter making a name for himself while proudly wearing the moniker of Baby Slice in Bellator MMA. On Thursday, Ferguson, 3-2, won no contest, battles Kahim Murray, 3-3, three three, in a lightweight bout during the prelims of Bellator 253 on CBSSports.com, Bellator MMA's YouTube channel, and DAZN beginning 3.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you, Kevin. You're being featured as Baby Slice. What does that naming mean to you? Oh, man, it means everything. You know, uh, you know, you know that my dad being Kimbo Slice, and, you know, it's MMA, and I'm a baby version of him. So it's just, it's just like perfect. Everything worked out perfect with the name, and I embraced it. And then, um, you know, exactly that's who I am now, Baby Slice. Kevin, where did you train for this fight? In Long Beach, California, with my coach Antonio McKee and Team Body Shop. And during the process, how long of a training camp did you have? And who were some of the people, fighters, coaches? You mentioned one, the coaches involved in training you. Um, I mean, we've been we've been on lockdown or quarantine or whatever, you know, for like a year. So you know, I've been training. I guess for this moment right here, and, um, AJ McKee, which is fighting on the main card, he's in a million dollar tournament. You know, he's going to be the champ. And then Joey Davis, um, 133 and 0. Um, yeah, those are my teammates for this fight, for this fight camp. And uh, we're going to take over, man. Being out in California then, because I know that's been a, a tougher state as far as opening things up. So how did you occupy the time during COVID and the period? Were you training where you live? Were there other places somewhere else that you could go and train? No, we we have we have our own little private gym and uh, we just train with each other and we make sure whoever our teammates don't train nowhere else. So if you're gonna train with this gym, then you can't train at another gym. And you know uh, everything's good. We pass, we all pass our COVID test and everything worked out perfect. Baby Slice, who is with you for this fight? Um, uh, my member I see Mike, which was my dad manager and best friend. I knew him since, you know, I was a kid. I called him Uncle Mike. Um, my coach, Antonio McKee, and, uh, and that, you know, that's pretty much it. We, that's all I really need, honestly. Your last fight was in late October of last year. You were getting ready for a fight, I believe, in March. And during that process, obviously, COVID hit. What were your thoughts when all this happened? And mentally, how do you just stay focused and get ready for for not knowing when you'll fight again? Um, well, mentally, everything's easy for me, you know, especially when it comes to, to the mind, because, you know, I don't try to control things that that's out of my control, you know, I just, I, I roll with the punches and keep it moving, you know. Um, but, yeah, uh, I've just been staying focused, staying, you know, mentally focused and just ready to go. Do you call California your home these days? Are you Connecticut? Living there, where is home for you now? Uh, well, the Bahamas for sure. That's number one, man. That's like that's my homeland right there, the Bahamas. But uh, yeah, California is where I'm living right now, and um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm living in Miami just because that's where I was born and raised. But you know, California is where it's at right now. My wife and my family is in. You know that I'm building is in California. Your father was first a YouTube backyard fighting sensation. Did you ever have any fights like that, competition fights like that? No, my dad didn't want me to fight in the backyard. He told me if I was going to do it, to do it professional, you know, don't, don't street fight. And so I can make my money, and that's what I did. I listened to him, and, you know, look at me now, you know, following out his footsteps, you know, creating my own, making a name bigger. Did you play any sports growing up? Oh, of course. Rapid in middle school. Uh, yeah, fight in the Oh. Bite, just bite, just bite. I, I feel good. I'm ready to just move on a little bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I rested in middle school and in high school, and I played football, I played soccer, basketball. You know, I did it all. Did you have any thoughts after high school of doing anything else other than fighting? Were you involved in any other activities or sports or anything like that? So I went to college for photography, and. Um, that was about it, though. I like photography a lot. You know, that's like my second passion, but fighting is number one. Is that how you found a home in California? Because you went to 
the Academy of Art at University. Right, that was in San Francisco. I, that's where that's where I fell in love with. Um, I fell in love with California and then uh, the Academy of Art. But um, yeah, my dad made that decision for me to come to California and train because you know I have a lot of people in Florida, you know, probably bad influences. I just wanted to stay away from all that, you know, and, and you know, California was the, the perfect spot. Well, photography is interesting. Do you do still do photography today? Oh, yeah, of course. I never stopped doing taking pictures. I love taking pictures. Might we see something, whether it be an Instagram or even book form, with some of your work, whether it be of you fighting, training, or other things? Yeah, maybe. I got to look into that, you know, maybe get some help trying to do that. But, but uh, yeah, maybe, man. I, I'm down for that. If uh, someone's willing to help out with that, let's do it. I blog anyways, I blog a lot, so I have a little YouTube channel where I do all my blogs. Hey, that's fine, buddy. I just fine. That is so cool. And I know with photography, were you involved in school with any of the, whether it be yearbook or journalism or anything like that with photography? I was running. Uh, say that again? Yes, in high school or even middle school, were you involved in photography and yearbook or journalism? Did you do anything in that realm? Oh, no, in school it was all about, you know, sports for me, and um, in uh, high school it was all about football, and, you know, trying to go to college and stuff like that. Where in South Florida did you grow up? Um, well, Miami-Dade County is where I grew up, then we moved to Coral Springs, Florida. Coral Springs, Florida, anywhere near Sample Road and University Drive? Oh, yeah, right on there. That's exactly <laughs> where my school was at. <laughs> I'm, call I'm calling you from <laughs> Coral Springs, Florida. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, hey. Maybe when I, when I come out there, I, my fight, we can have a sit-down meeting. <laughs> hey, that would be cool. All right, so were you a Coral Springs High School grad? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Go Colts! Go Colts, man. I broke all the records there. Hey, did you? Wow, that is so interesting. Did you wrestle for Dan Jacob? I did. That was my wrestling coach. <laughs> Him and Coach Henry, phenomenal. They're just so good. I mean, all the years, Coach Jacobs is still coaching, and he's coming up on milestone wins. What did you think of the program there, and any lessons learned from those coaches in that program? Yeah, man, Coach Jacobs, he, he did play. You know, it was funny because he saw me, and he's like, do you want to wrestle? And I'm like, I didn't know, but I knew that I wanted to do MMA, so I just figured, yeah, of course I wanted to wrestle. He just took me in, man, like, but some, sometimes in like classes I wasn't doing good in, he would take me to his room and we would um we would uh he we would sit down and he'd help me with my homework, you know. And uh he just taught me everything with the rest of the Did you ever meet Captain America's Al Eric Alvarezson? Uh, I think so. I'm not I don't remember though, I gotta see a face. <laughs> he's he's doing phenomenal things. I mean, with Bellator he's Pitbull's coach. And yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, Henry yeah. Cerruto and so many others, and he's saw, a character too. I, I saw him in my last fight. We was talking about that. We, he was saying how he ran for springs, and I'm like, man, I don't remember you know. Like I was trying to like remember him, but maybe he was smaller or something. But I just couldn't remember him. But he was telling me he ran for course springs and everything. He looks good. He looks good for his age. He doesn't like to mention his age. I don't mention it. That's why I don't say anything with Eric and his age. He looks good. But when Eric went to high school, he made it to the state finals. And state runner-up was an hardest working wrestler, hardest working kid. Seven days a week, that's all he did. It's just, it was interesting to see. And then he obviously was able to parlay that later into coaching and doing very good things and big things with coaching and all. So it's really cool to see, but Coral Springs High School very much represented. I'm wondering, because you went to Coral Springs High School, you got involved in MMA, were you ever a pro wrestling fan? And did you ever have any interest in pro wrestling? I mean, I'll, I'll do pro wrestling. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, I used to watch wrestling all the time. Rock or Stone Cold? Uh, ooh, the, I gotta go with The Rock, honestly, on that one. But the Goldberg's my favorite. The so Goldberg over everybody. Oh, Goldberg, man. They're very cool. That was an awesome with Goldberg. Football player, too, from football to pro wrestling. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Your father studied criminal justice at Bethune Cookman University and University of Miami. Of Miami. And you mentioned about education. How important was that to him and to you and your siblings to go and get that education? Oh, um, that was really important. You know, that's 
why I did it is because he wanted to too. But I, I would I do I would have jumped straight into fighting if it was up to me. But you know I listened to him and I went to college. What point of your career are you at right now? What does a win mean for you on Thursday? Oh, it means a lot, man. You know to be gone for a year and not fight for a year it means a lot. So I'm just gonna go out there and just give it my all. You know, win, lose, draw. I'm gonna give it my all. Do you feel like your name gets you through the door, but then to make it stick and go on, you're the one that has to do things? Oh, yeah, of course. Man, I, I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't have any talent, you know, and if I wasn't athletic. The name got me there, but that's a far, that's a father to get me is at the door, knocking on the door. I, I have to walk through the door by, by performing and showing that I'm a good, I'm a fighter and I did my game. You know, I really love this, so... Like I said, the name get me to the door, but in order to get through the door and get that key, I have to perform and, you know, um, show them that I'm not just a name. Hey, did you have any thoughts of training down here in South Florida, whether it been for American Top Team or Sanford MMA, which used to be Hard Knocks 365, or even well, Masters in Miami? Funny, so I actually started training with American Top Team. That's why I started out with them, and I wrestled for them too as well. But, um... It's wherever my coach, wherever my coach goes. You know, I, I, I'm not leaving you know, Team Body Shock. That's where it's at right now for me. So I'm not leaving unless my coach moves. As far as the location, I mean, South Florida or California, you can't go wrong with either, right? Right, exactly. Wherever my team is at, that's where I'll be. <laughs> hey, I was going to ask if you missed the beach, but you got the beach there. <laughs> right, yeah. All right, well, listen, I want to thank you for taking the time. Bellator 253 Thursday. It's going to be another big Bellator event. Kevin, Baby Slice, what do you like about Bellator and the opportunities that you've been able to get with Bellator? Oh, man, I love everything about Bellator. You know, they take care of the fighters, and they care about you. And my dad, they took care of my dad as well. So this is, this is it, you know. This is where I, we get it down at. It's Bellator. Hey, and lastly, your other, your other brothers and sisters, are any of them involved in fighting or sports or businesses like that? Uh, no, no, just me for right now. We'll see how they feel later down the line, but yes, yeah, just me right now. Well, listen, thank you for the time. All the best. Appreciate it.